so guys <clears throat> so guys i'm sitting here and realizing that there's a been a message about a it power outage that's affecting the airlines the banks um what else they say um all kind of stuff well let me tell you what happened to me this morning and this is why i don't trust banks and just the system in general i woke up this morning i got i get my check every week so i woke up this morning check hit about 2 3 a.m like usual so this morning i go to start paying bills you know um distributing stuff into my other bank accounts and then paying bills so i go to my main account excuse me i go to my main account to um transfer some money all of a sudden my money is showing zero in my account zero dollars in my account i go in a straight panic mode i'm like what the hell is going on then i click in my account because you know you have your first page that shows your balances then i click in my account and when it went into the account it showed the money there then when i clicked out of it to see the first page it showed zero dollars in my savings and my checking i'm panicking then I um I clicked back into my account and then I went back to the first page then it showed my money again I was like oh hell no I hurry up and took that money switched it over to my other account um, and put that in my other savings account I'm like I gotta go pull my money out y'all y'all and this is what's so hard because I also have a business this is what's so hard about getting little small business loans and things of that sort because they want you to keep money in your bank accounts. They want to see not only the money coming in, in, which is ridiculous to me, because if the money is coming in, if you're showing 10 to 20,000 a month coming into your business or, or more, why do you need to see my money sitting there in the account? But anyway, I'm getting off track. The bottom line is I don't keep my money in accounts. I use them to funnel money into it from either my corporate job or either my business and then as soon as it hits I go and pull that shit out and then I, I have a safe that I keep I'm not gonna say where I keep it but I have a safe that I keep um, that I put my cash in and institutions institutions look down on that they want you to have your money sitting there so that they can go and pull your money out, use your money, and do all this other stuff. That was a scare this morning. Literally, thousands of dollars of my money was showing zero dollars in my account. Then it popped back in as money in my account. We have hackers. We have all kind of stuff going on. These banks cannot be trusted, y'all. They cannot be trusted. So going forward... I don't give a fuck going forward when my money hits my account I'm going straight to the bank and I'm taking my money out y'all better start paying attention man it's some shit going on it's some serious shit going on in this country and one day you're gonna be having your money I don't want to put this into the into the universe but it happened this morning to where my money went into my account and a few minutes later showed up as zero dollars in my account and then reappeared back in my account this shit is scary so just fyi y'all go into y'all bank accounts and check your bank accounts because there's a glitch going on and i have good i have good banks i have bank of america that's where i have my regular um, my personal account I also have my business account there and then I have Wells Fargo which I've heard horrible things about them but I keep Wells Fargo Wells Fargo just to transfer money when I want to pay bills but these banks y'all y'all that was the scariest scariest shit this morning scary shit man to work and and to see your hard-earned money go into a bank and then show up as zero dollars in your account just to show up again 
uh-uh. Don't play with my goddamn money like that. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, Pam. So, y'all better check y'all bank accounts.